Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This 2022 Camaro with 374 miles on it was towed in as the customer says it won't start. The technician found that the customer had hit something on the road, which damaged an oil cooler line and leaked out most of the engine oil and caused the engine to seize. And in this clip and photos, you can also see damage to the bell housing and engine block, which a technician thinks that it happened on impact. And this customer's vehicle was towed in as they said it won't start after another shop worked on it. Whoever did the work dropped a screw for the air filter lead down the intake and didn't notice. Customer states the radio changes stations on its own when going over bumps or when they are breaking. This customer brought in their vehicle as they said it still leaks engine oil after their brother had replaced a valve cover gasket. The technician found that they mostly used screws to tighten down the valve cover and stripped most of the threads for the bolts. This vehicle was brought in as a customer says they have a small coolant leak. The technician found coolant leaking from the radiator as a customer had installed the radiator upside down. I'm mind blown. And this vehicle was brought in as the customer says they can hear a noise while driving. The customer had recently changed a battery and dropped a battery cover down the engine bay. This technician noticed this when this vehicle came in for a service. Customer states the check engine light is on ever since they had their oil changed. Whoever changed the oil squished these set of wires when they installed the oil filter. And this car came in as the customer says their brakes feel weird. The technician found the brake caliper and bracket to be missing on the driver's side. And the technician mentioned it to the customer, but they had no clue how it happened. This customer's vehicle could surprisingly still drive after they hit a curb and damaged the spindle and strut. Shall we roll? And this is why you should be cautious when buying vehicles from an auction. This one had the oil pressure sender screwed to the bottom of this map bottle, so they could add air to the bottle to fake the oil pressure reading. This customer had brought in their truck as they said they have a clunking noise and wanted an alignment after they installed the new ball joints. And this customer's vehicle was towed in as they think their car needs a new fuel pump. After some further diagnosing, the technicians found that somebody had shoved Skittles down the fuel filler neck. A customer somehow had their snake make their way behind the dashboard on their car. The technician eventually removed the snake and it was unharmed. When this customer came in for an engine concern, the technician noticed that the customer had installed his own auxiliary fuel tank, but had cut a hole in the fuel filler neck and shoved a smaller tube in it for the auxiliary fuel tank. The technician took a sample and found the fuel tank to be full of dirt and water. And this customer brought in their vehicle as they said they have multiple electrical issues. The technician noticed that they had the sound system that they installed and had connected the wires to the amp using a hot glue gun. He told the customer he had to remove the sound system before diagnosing the issue as he thinks is related to their concern. This technician had Michael Knight bring it in his car as he said he's having some sporadic communication issues. I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.